I, I was uh, without power for uh, roughly um, eight days. Uh, there were people in my town uh, who actually went longer than that without power. Uh, I, I think the worst was about two weeks. Uh, among the products I had was an uh, Airvo uh, uh, solar-powered lantern. Uh, just uh, it will charge. You never need to replace the batteries, and this would charge with the, either the sun hitting the top of the unit. Uh, probably the easiest way to do it if you're without power is just to wind it for about a minute to get a get a good charge on it. This is actually one of the first products that we started making in our USA Nevada plant. And um, we're pretty proud of that, bringing products that we would have normally made in China, and now we're making them right here in Gardnerville, Nevada. So we're really happy about that. You got the hand crank, the solar panel on top. The key thing about uh, th these products is that you don't have to ever worry about replacing the batteries, okay? While um, flashlights with batteries are great, they're only great as long as you have replacement batteries. In the situation we were facing after Hurricane Sandy, the, the stores were closed. The Home Depots weren't open, your Lowe's weren't open, your local hardware store wasn't open, even 7-Eleven uh, in town wasn't open. Uh, several days later, uh, even when they reopened, batteries were just gone in, gone in two minutes, and it, it took several days for them to be uh, be uh, uh, restocked at the stores. So uh, if you were relying upon being able to go out and buy replacement batteries to power <laughs> all of your devices for uh, the next week, uh, you, 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 uh, that, that plan didn't work out so well. It comes with a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter adapter so you can charge it in your car replaceable batteries to put into the bottom here. So if you have no power, you're tired of cranking, you don't have any sun, well, if you've got some AA batteries, you can install them in here and operate like a standard lantern. You could put one in every room and you could set it on the table. You could hang it from your light fixture above your dining room table. Uh, but it's so convenient because it's so easy to power and it's not needing electricity to create that power. So put it in your kid's bedroom, put it in the kitchen, and put it in the living room, and then you're, you're pretty set. And, and you, you never appreciate just having a light on in your house so much that, you know, <laughs> still when the power goes out is when you miss it. But um, it was getting dark at the time, around 5.30 at night. So uh, basically in uh, the living room of my house, I had uh, one of these set up. Um, I gave each of the kids flashlights uh, for their bedrooms, just in case they got up at night. Uh, basically the same thing in, in, at, at my dad's house, was able to put a lantern kind of in the room where he uh, sleeps and another lantern where, where he is most of the day. Here's the crank. You just crank it up. One minute gives you, I don't know, about an hour's worth of light, maybe a little bit less. These are down lights. There's four white lights shine this on down to the surface of your, your table so you could for reading. And then there's a low, medium, and high, and up. Ah.